Olá, boa tarde a todos no Brasil, boa noite para a gente. Vamos dar início agora à coletiva de imprensa com a técnica Pia Sundhog. Primeira pergunta da Cintia Barlen, do GE.com. Oi, Pia, parabéns pela vitória. Eu queria perguntar qual a importância de ficar se enfrentando diferentes escolas, porque a gente viu que o jogo contra a Noruega foi um aspecto que, que se viu em campo, depois hoje contra a Itália mais uma dificuldade de, 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 na questão da defesa, e a possibilidade também de outras escolas aí em novembro, quem sabe Canadá, etc. Qual a, uh, qual a importância de variar essas escolas para pensando na COP de 2023? Uh, it's uh, important, first of all, to play good games, good opponents, and uh, it's also uh, our chance to to deal with the tactical stuff we play against different kind of, of opponents. Uh, why this game was so different uh, from if compared to Norway is because we've been traveling, and uh, then we have one practice. And you can tell if you look at some of the plays they were tired. Uh, even after 30 minutes, and um, then it's a little bit off with our nice way of playing in the attack. Uh, we were dispossessed. So uh, that's why we decided uh, to play with low pressure, and I'm really, really proud uh, of the way we defend. Uh, uh, we were compact, uh, regardless who, who the 11 players out there, we were compact. Uh, and one thing, a learning moment is, when we play that low, we should be able to um, do, uh, make some uh, counterattacks and be more successful with that. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm happy with the players because right now we have some really uh, tired and happy players. Pergunta da Amanda Viana, do Planeta Futebol Feminino. Boa tarde, Pia. Parabéns aí pela vitória. Hoje a equipe teve algumas dificuldades na saída de bola, a Itália nos pressionou bem e a gente teve dificuldade nessa progressão. É, qual a, a próxima evolução da equipe? Aproximar um pouco mais, movimentação, como que você vê essa dificuldade e a forma para a gente corrigir isso no futuro? Obrigada. Well, I, I will stress that again, the fact that uh, we have tired legs. So <clears throat> traveling and only two days. Uh, I think uh, I just mentioned one player, that's Sampaio. I thought she was brilliant against Norway, uh, both defending and in the attack. And this time she managed to uh, do great things in, in defense. And the reason for that is we uh, with the low pressure. So what we actually learn from this game is whenever we get tired, you, you can imagine in a tournament, late in a tournament, the, the third game, the fourth game, we need to be smart. And um, this is something we will talk about. Uh, you can defend in different ways, but also you can attack in different ways. Uh, instead of play through the midfield, instead of playing, uh, look at Tamira's position, for instance, that It's different from, from the Norwegian game. Uh, you know, you just play the ball diagonal and you have a, a fast play like Ludmilla. To be more crisp and clear with those decision-making, um, that is what we learned today. And uh, I think we will get in better in this specific situation. Pergunta da Roberta Nina, das Vibraduras. Oi, Parabéns pela vitória, Pia. Perdão pelo barulho dos meus vizinhos em obra. É, essa foi a décima vitória consecutiva do time brasileiro, uma marca importante. Com a Adriana também sendo peça fundamental do ataque, marcando gols nos últimos jogos, além da Copa América. Queria que você falasse um pouquinho da importância dessas dez vitórias consecutivas nessa jornada até a Copa. 
e em cima de equipes top 15 do ranking da FIFA. Obrigada. Uh, you gain confidence. Not only Adri gains confidence, the whole team does that. And if uh, you throw you back uh, a year ago, we had the same discussion or comment when it comes to Dibinia. Dibinia is not even here. When she comes back, uh, we will have uh, great players compete for the starting lineup spot. And um, this is uh, a little bit of a great step, I think. Um, playing uh, and creating so many chances, scoring goals against Norway. And, and this game with tie legs, we found a way to win. And that's what it's all about. Uh, and we did it very different, different today. Uh, so goal scorers like uh, Adri, uh, she of course is very important, not uh, her specifically, but also for the team. Pergunta do Alan Caldas, do GE.com. É, boa, boa noite para você, você Pia, é, para a da vitória. Você falou um pouco agora da Adriana, mas e eu gostaria que você falasse um pouco mais, porque é, eu gostaria de saber como você a vê nesse, nessa seleção, porque é uma jogadora que é, talvez seja menos badalada que outras, é, não tem é, apelidos, a imprensa talvez não fale muito dela, mas um jogo como hoje, como o de hoje, é, mostrou a importância de uma jogadora ser decisiva. Né? Poucas chances de gol e quando ela teve a oportunidade, ela marcou isso. É muito comum com ela, tanto no Corinthians quanto na seleção. Uma jogadora que a gente gostaria de ter visto já na Copa do Mundo, na última e também na Olimpíada. Infelizmente, saiu por, não, foi, não, foi, não pôde jogar por lesões. E eu gostaria de saber, que você falasse um pouco dela, da importância dela para essa equipe. Obrigado. Uh, well, just uh, just look at the way she scores goals, um, uh, and you can tell that she she has a, a great shot, and she finds a way to hit the hit the target, and um, she's also very fast, uh, which I think is a little bit cool. Is her combination with the Tamires on the left side? Uh, they know each other, and I've seen her play many good games in, in Corinthians as well. Uh, and making the right decision. I think the more games she's been playing, the more goals she's been playing, uh, the more confidence she gained. So now she is, um, ah, you can imagine, she's fast, she's technical, she can score goals, and uh, even in the defense, she, she does a pretty good job. So uh, her movement of the ball is, for me, a key. Uh, I think that is the biggest difference from when I saw the first time to, till today. And uh, I think that has something to do with the team, of course, but also her confidence uh, and making the right decision. Um, so she's, uh, and that's the reason why she's scoring goals. She reads the game very well and um, uh, she brings out the best performance in her teammates as well. Mais uma pergunta da Cintia Barlen, do GE.com. Uh, Pia, a gente viu também a, o Brasil sofrer um pouco com essa pressão da saída de bola, com a Itália pressionando na marcação. Uh, foi um bom teste também para saber como se livrar também num segundo tempo uma, uma nova cara da seleção brasileira, não tentando fazer essas bolas mais longas, uma bola mais trabalhada e girar a bola como você tanto defende. This is uh, this is how you be uh, try to be on the same page, and uh, it depends on uh, the opponent. It depends on if you have heavy legs or if it's a, 
if it's a quarterfinal or semifinal. There's so many factors and uh, who's been playing well uh, and so on. So uh, you can tell there is a, always a, an idea of to try to play out of pressure, but we don't need to be naive. And um, uh, sometimes when we have players like uh, Jace is fast, Adri is fast, Caroline is fast, Ludmilla is the fastest one. So <clears throat> um, th there is a lesson to learn because I, I do believe there are more chances to put uh, the Italian team under pressure by play what's just one ball to back player or whoever that is, and then you should ping it behind a long ball behind the back line. That means you can uh, step up with the team and you put uh, Italy uh, on a real pressure. And what's happening then is the midfield, so many things happening in the midfield if you stretch them out. I think many players in the world actually, they don't want to play against uh, Lujmi Life. There's a foot race. The same things with Adri or, or when Kerli starts to dribble. So <clears throat> uh, I think that is um, uh, room for improvement to pick and choose when to play that big ball and when actually to, to be uh, compact in the attack and, and find combination because we are very good at that as well. Just look at the game against Norway. Uh, so be able to do both. Uh, I've said previously, be able to play different kinds of system, but be able to make those uh, decisions uh, together in the same game Uh, that will make us so much better. Mais uma pergunta da Amanda Viana do Planeta Futebol Feminino. Pia, como você vê o Brasil após essa data FIFA? A evolução desde ali a Copa América e também os confrontos contra a África do Sul e agora a Noruega e Itália. Qual o balanço dessa, dessa data FIFA para a seleção? Uh, you can imagine uh, Copa America. <clears throat> um, there is a, there's a word uh, before the game against Norway and before the game uh, against Italy. Don't take anything for granted. So usually Brazil wins the Copa America. Usually uh, Brazil, you know, they uh, qualify for the World Cup and Olympics. All the World Cups and Olympics. Uh, and the, the, it's very dangerous if you take that for granted. So that's why I'm very happy with the performance of Copa America. Uh, if you recall against Colombia, that was a tough game. Dabinia scoring a penalty kick. Uh, and we struggled a little bit, but we found a way to win. After that, we have changed the, the, the system a little bit. And especially uh, we look at the outside backs. And we, I feel like we have more um, opp opportunities, we have more uh, options on the field to put in the starting lineup. It, it's, uh, it's actually getting better and better. And uh, here's an example. Tarsiani, she played the last game for five minutes. Now we brought in Yaya in a very critical moment. I think the first thing she does is with, with um, she's calm and she turns and she plays the ball over the top. That specific moment uh, uh, is so important for us because I gained confidence when she did that. And, and uh, that tells us we have so many options. And um, just uh, look at each one of the players that uh, we have. The, we are just taking the, the next step. Mais uma pergunta da Roberta Nina, das Vibradoras. Pia, falando ainda sobre os pontos positivos do jogo de hoje, é, as cobranças de escanteio geraram boas oportunidades para o Brasil. Eu queria saber se você tem feito algum trabalho específico para isso, tanto para aproveitar a bola na área é, subindo para um cabeceio ou pegando um rebote. E no jogo de hoje, é, a Tainara teve uma chance de cabeça, também teve uma chance na hora do rebote. Queria que você falasse sobre os escanteios. Uh, 
uh, we need we need options and uh, yes we try to mix it up a little bit and uh, that is an area where we will put so much more time when we go to the pre-camp before the World Cup. Uh, the, the, the set pieces could uh, make the dif difference. Now, if you look at the, the, the players, we have some good headers, uh, especially in defense. Italy, they played a couple of long balls, and uh, I think the two forwards up top, they were connected, but... Um, uh, Tainara and Kathleen, they, they, they did great defensively. And the reason is because they, they won the duels in, in the air. Now, hopefully, when we train, we also would be even better in the attack because we, uh, we are pretty good in the air. And set pieces is a great opportunity to score goals. Última pergunta do Alan Caldas, do GE.com. Yeah, daqui a... 11, 12 dias, nós teremos o sorteio dos grupos da Copa do Mundo. Ah, eu gostaria de saber de você, a primeira sua expectativa né, para as possíveis adversárias do Brasil e também é, se vocês, a CBF, no caso, com a sua orientação, vai aguardar o sorteio para buscar os adversários dos amistosos, por exemplo, de novembro, ou se essa programação independe dos adversários, você já tem uma programação definida para novembro e vai pensar só para o ano que vem em relação à preparação especificamente já sabendo os adversários. Uh, uh, yes, um, we are planning the FIFA days and hopefully you get some opponents regardless of draw because we want to play uh, uh, the 10 best teams and hopefully that will happen. Uh, but after the draw, it's so important to, uh, to plan just the days before. How many days? Well, FIFA has some, some dates, of course. And then uh, we, we try to figure out how many days could we gather the players because we have players in the US, we have players in Europe and um, Many of them, they, they, the league stops in, in the middle of May. And then we have a Brasileiro. So it's, um, it's a little bit of a puzzle. And uh, I think that is the most important thing, to give the players a chance to, to perform uh, with that long trip uh, and get as many days as possible so uh, they feel like they are ready to, to play uh, in the World Cup. Obrigada, Pia, e obrigada a todos os jornalistas que participaram.